Hi, my name is Steve Wischke. I'm a senior service engineer for Modine Manufacturing. Today we will be troubleshooting a reversing valve for a Modine geothermal heat pump. In order to test the reversing valve, you don't necessarily need a refrigerant gauge set connected to the discharge line and suction line. You can also do it with the multimeter set to VAC and temperature. Firstly, we'll test to see if the unit is heating or cooling. We do that by measuring the voltage between the two brown wires. In cooling, you should be getting 24 volts. In heating, you should have no voltage at all. I'm currently reading no voltage, meaning our unit is getting a heating call. That means the discharge line and the pipe connecting to the air coil, also known as the condenser line, should be the exact same temperature. If there's any temperature difference between the discharge line and the air coil line, also known as the condenser, we know that there's an internal problem inside the reversing valve allowing refrigerant to get to where it shouldn't be. We'll also be able to measure the temperature on the suction line, the middle pipe, and the evaporator line going to the water coil. Those should be the exact same temperature. Once again, if there's any temperature difference between the suction line and the evaporator line, we know there's an internal problem with a reversing valve. For further information, you can go to www.modinehvac.com.